How acetaminophen silences pain before it reaches the brain. We've all taken it for headaches, fevers, and post-surgery pain. Paracetamol, also known as acetaminophen or Tylenol, is one of the most widely used painkillers in the world. But how it actually works has remained a bit of a mystery, until now. A new study from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem just turned that mystery on its head. For decades, scientists believed that paracetamol relieved pain by acting only in the brain and spinal cord, dulling the experience of pain once the signal had already arrived. But this research reveals something groundbreaking. Paracetamol also works on the peripheral nerves, the ones that first detect pain and send the signal in the first place. Here's how. When you take paracetamol, your body converts it into a compound called AM404. What the researchers found is that AM404 is made right at the nerve endings that sense pain, and it works by shutting down sodium channels that transmit those pain signals to the brain. In other words, AM404 doesn't just dull pain, it prevents the signal from being sent at all. This finding could transform how we think about pain relief. Unlike traditional local anesthetics, which block all nerve activity and come with side effects like numbness or muscle weakness, AM404 acts with surgical precision, only stopping the nerves involved in pain. Imagine a future where we have painkillers that are not only highly effective, but also free from the usual side effects. That's what this study makes possible. So the next time you reach for Tylenol, know this, it's not just calming your brain. It's working at the very edge of your nervous system, stopping pain before your brain even knows it's there. This video is based on the research paper, The Analgesic Paracetamol Metabolite, AM404, Acts Peripherally to Directly Inhibit Sodium Channels, by Alexander Binstock et al. in PNAS. What do you think about this study? Drop us a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neuroscience news updates.